It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show, sponsored by Kia. Welcome to the NBA playoffs in this pivotal game four of the opening round here on 2K Sports, along with the Jet and the Doctor, Shaquille O'Neal. I'm Ernie Johnson. Tonight, we'll be watching the Los Angeles Clippers playing against the Jazz in Salt Lake City. Well, for the Jazz, they won game three going away and are looking to make another statement tonight. Definitely a bounce in their step. And tonight, a do-or-die game. Shaq, what can, uh, what can a team with its back against the wall do to shift the momentum in this series? You just got to remember what you work hard for all season. Let that fuel your passion. And play like there's no tomorrow. Ooh. No tomorrow. No tomorrow. If there is no, no tomorrow, tomorrow. Well, we've, got, we've got a lot of issues. Because if, if you don't no win, tomorrow. there won't be a tomorrow. I'm going to tell you this. If there's no tomorrow, I'm not playing hard. Because you want to win the hustle plays, though. And every 50-50 loose ball is really key. But again, if there's no tomorrow, I'm going out on the beach and hanging out and having a good time if, if there's no tomorrow. But that's a, but that, see, that's the question. If, if this is like, say this is Thursday. Right. And there's no tomorrow. Right. Is tomorrow still Friday? Or is there no Friday? No, you're just talking about the day before tomorrow. Another game. Ooh. Think wow. about it, Ernie. Think I, about no, it. I, 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 I don't I'd know rather, what you guys are talking about. I'd rather not think about it. Kevin, I'd rather go to Kevin Harlan. Yeah. That's Deacon a new Bay movie. It's something in our no cup, tomorrow. Kevin, and I'm not oh. drinking it. This is it, game four of the Western Conference quarterfinals. We're looking at what could be a very short series. Kevin Harlan here along with analysts Greg Anthony and Steve Smith, and we'll be hearing from D.A. along the sideline all game long. It's the Los Angeles Clippers taking on the Utah Jazz. You look at Utah, they've been in the driver's seat throughout the series, and now a chance to deliver the finishing blow and sweep the series here in front of their hometown fans. And I think they're ready to put this series to bed, guys. They played so well up to this point and, and really look poised to close this thing out in front of their home fans and get some rest as they get ready for the next round. And nothing tips off a broadcast like getting the lowdown from the sidelines. And we've got David Aldridge there for that. David, good evening. Guys, Doc Rivers has the dual role of coach and GM with the Clippers. But if you ask him, it's much the same as his role before. He said there really is no actual difference in the two roles, except when you do disagree. The only difference now is if I really disagree, I get my way. Kevin? Thanks, DA. And it's probably easier to straddle those roles when the mandate is win now. That's a coach's mentality anyway. And so off the tip, it's Utah. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's check out who's on the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. And the Clippers, looking at who they've got. Veteran backcourt with CP3 and Reddick at the one and the two. The Dunkers, Griffin and Jordan are the bigs. And it's Johnson in at the three, the small forward. Now here's Paul. George Hill missing his last shot. The shot by Reddick, no good. And that's not the best of shot selection there. The defense definitely won that possession. Because he's really good defending all the way out to the three-point line. Now here's Hayward. Kicks it to Gobert. And Favors has it in the corner. Baseline J on the way. Reddick with the rebound. I like that shot for him, though. Very little defensive pressure. He typically rises up and buries that. A minute played so far here in the first. Johnson right side. Doesn't go for him. The Jazz go the other way with it. They want that intensity to carry over from that victory on Friday. And how about the game plan that was constructed for that one? I mean, it was apparent how powerless the D was to stop it. Really, a combination of smart coaching and even better execution. When you have that, the game comes easily to you. Nice make for them as they get the scoring started. How you love to get the first one under your belt and out of the way. Favors with the screen. 
And a wide open look for Hood. The Jazz with another miss. This is the opposite of how they wanted to start this game. 0 for 4 already. Outside Jordan, it's Reddick on the wing. So he gets the whistle, contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. You know Reddick has such a quick fire mentality. Not surprising that he gets defenders to fall for his pump fake. This is his first chance at the line tonight. The free throw drops for Reddick. Both free throws good for Reddick. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. Hill kicks to Favors. Favors with the screen. Pass to Hayward. Jumper off the screen. And that's good for two. The catch and shoot jumper from Hayward is virtually impossible to guard. He is so quick on the draw. Paul kicks to Johnson. Jordan sets the pick for Johnson. Pick by Griffin. Griffin a screen on Hill. Paul passes to Griffin. It's going by Hill. And the Jazz pushing it up now. He dishes it to Favors. High post, Gobert. Jazz passing it around. Hayward kicks to Hood. Just four to shoot. Gobert dishes to Hood. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. It's all knotted up. Hood is great at getting into the paint, using that high release point of his to get his shot off. Outside, Reddick. Here's the teardrop. They retain possession. Over in the corner, Paul. It's going by Hill. Hood with it. Dishes it to Hill. He kicks it to Favors. He feeds it to Hood. Favors with the screen. Pass to Hayward. This one for three. Carries the long-range jumper. Hayward's got five points so far. The three-point stroke of Gordon Hayward is so sweet. One of his favorite shots to take. Griffin kicks to Jordan. Outside, Reddick. Will it go? And the Clippers miss again. And they're one of five to start this game. Just really haven't gotten into a flow offensively. Hands with the ball out of bounds. Jordan touched it last. And you know what? A low percentage pass on that one, but sometimes it's worth the risk. Yeah, questionable. But it almost got through. It's probably a quick bucket if it did. Now here is Hill. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. What tenacity from Johnson on defense. Always doing his best to get in the face of the shooter. On the wing, Johnson. Ended by Hayward. Johnson, the pass to Griffin. Jordan kicks to Reddit. Like at six. Here's Griffin. And the Clippers miss again. Really bad mental lapse by the defense. Yet, he did not make them pay, surprisingly. It's tipped. And that'll be Utah as it goes out of bounds. Jazz retain possession. Utah leading by three. Now here is Hill. From deep three-point range. Love the heart of Chris Paul, especially on defense, where he is an absolute pest. It's going by Hill. Knocked away. Paul with the steal. Left side, Griffin. They need this one. And the Clippers miss again. For Utah, they've gotten just three of their first nine shots to go down in this game. Favors with the screen. Favors sets the pick for Hill. 
to Hood. Fires the three. Good, and it's Hill picking up the assist. Hood's got five now. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Picked by Griffin. Oh, Griffin in position. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Hayward kicks to Favors. Love the gritty work inside from Favors. When he's down there, it makes the defense very nervous. The Jazz shooting their first free throws here tonight. Shooting two. And that one falls for Favors. The former third overall pick in the 2010 NBA Draft, Derek Favors is a gifted big man and a crucial player to this team. That one is no good. Clippers trail by seven. Johnson dishes to Griffin. Now the feed to Paul. Griffin a screen on him. Paul kicks to Griffin. Johnson the screen. And that one's good, Griffin. Time in the out, low post, out. Blake is getting comfortable. What he does is catches it, Started. sizes you up, and goes right into your chest. And a first time out of the game called for Utah. And the Jazz with possession here. Outside Hill. Favors sets the pick for Hill. Outside Hood. Favors with a screen on Griffin. Hayward kicks to Hood. Five to shoot from downtown. Down it goes, his third basket. He's now three for four. All these open threes they're giving up have really been the driving force on this run. Here is Paul. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Jordan the screen. Jordan with the screen on him. Paul for three. Good on the triple. Chris Paul's jump shot is very, very deadly. When he's left open, the defense is in trouble. Favors with the screen. Favors sets the pick for Hill. Hayward outside. Fires from deep. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Jordan's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Had the layup, no one really contested him. Missed opportunity. Hayward passes to Favors. Hill kicks to Favors. Favors with the screen. That's a two from Hood. DeAndre Jordan grabs the miss. Jordan's got five rebounds tonight. Reddick against Hood. The leaner inside. And Hayward with the block. And he recovers it. That doesn't go either for Griffin. Uh, how about him there just bodying him up to make him alter the trajectory on that shot? Make your presence felt. He definitely altered that shot. Now here's Gobert. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. It's tipped. Paul kicks to Jordan. Hayward grabs the board. You know, the alley-oop is a great play when it works, but boy, when it doesn't. It is ugly. Now Hood. He's got eight. And here's Gobert. Six on the shot clock, and it's in there. That's seven points for Gordon Hayward. That's the kind of strength that Hayward has, going out to bury shots in the face of some pretty stiff defense. Paul kicks to Reddick. 
And a big pounce off the rim, but it sinks right in. Not the best pick I've ever seen, but it was just enough to get the job done. Hill with it. Favors with the screen. Hill kicks to Hood. It's back to Hill. Outside Hood. Elbow shot is on the way. Jordan with the rebound. Jordan's got six rebounds now in the game. Johnson can't get it to go. And here's Utah. They're on a 16-7 run. Favors at the elbow. And the call goes against Wesley Johnson. That's his first foul. That's four turnovers out of them already. Sloppy play in the early going. So Utah ends up going with the new group. A big group substitution here for the Clippers. Brandon Basses checked in for Jordan. And Bahamute comes in for Wesley Johnson. Jamal Crawford, he's checked in for J.J. Reddick. And it's Austin Rivers in for Chris Paul. Neto kicks to Johnson. There's a good screen. Works for three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Outside Griffin. Oh, trying for it. Feeds to Crawford. Johnson with the defensive effort. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Neto kicks to Johnson. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Clippers trail by seven. Now here's Rivers. Bass with the screen. Rivers dishes to Crawford. One twenty-one left to play in the first quarter. Five to shoot. From past the arc. Shots good from Mba Amute. Mba Amute has got himself on the board with three there. Just a little confusion among the D as to who was supposed to be on it. Neto kicks to Johnson. And the shot falls short this time. LA's gone two of four from beyond the arc to start the game. Crawford missing again. A three-point marksman. He couldn't have asked for a better look. Sometimes it just doesn't go down. Clippers trail by four. The pick gave him all the room he needed, and he knocks down the J. When it comes to contested jump shots, Jamal Crawford is simply one of the best at sinking them. Here's the screen. Neto, the pass to Johnson. The pass to Burks. Utah, the rebound. Here's Neto. With the kicks to Neto. Well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the bucket. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. Griffin and the slam by Blake Griffin. If you allow Blake Griffin to get that close, the result, a dunk. So here's Burks looking for his first basket still in this one. Passes it to Neto. Three-pointer. It's good from long range. And the Jazz lead by five. The yeah, perfect release that time. I mean, I thought it might get blocked, but no. The reason why, he understands how to create space. Got it off just in time. And so the first quarter is in the books. Jazz lead by five. The second quarter coming up right after this break, so don't go anywhere. And a word from Chris Paul, who has a little something to say about the success of a very special and influential teammate, Blake Griffin. You know, Blake, everything that's happening for him, he deserves it because he's worked so hard and, and put so much into it. And he's a huge piece to our team being successful. 
And of course, we know that Blake would say the exact same thing about Chris Paul. You know, Chris and Blake Griffin share so much in common when it comes to being the hardcore Clippers their owner brags about all the time. And Chris Paul isn't easily impressed. And neither, for that matter, is Doc Rivers. So both guys have high praise for Griffin for how hard he's worked and really how far he's come. Welcome back to game four as we get ready to start things up again. What do you guys think about the Jazz here in this one? I just don't know that you're going to see a better quarter defensively than what we saw in the first. Yeah, they were in total lockdown mode there. Can they keep it up for their entire game? It remains to be seen. Johnson is out there with Withers. Then there's Alec Burks, and it's Neto in at the point. That's the group for Utah getting going here in the second. Now here's Crawford. But to go from 14, the shot will not fall. So Utah will take it the other way. Johnson attacking. And there it is for him. Johnson's got the first basket of the second quarter for the Jams. Stolen. And now Utah, fast break. Neto with the bucket. And the Jazz lead by nine. And unfortunately, we've seen a few too many of those. A lack of concentration, a turnover, and an easy bucket in transition. Now here's Rivers, still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. There's the dish to Griffin. Back to Rivers, just five on the clock. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Utah leading by nine. Here's Neto. He's got seven. Back to Johnson. And the lead now, double digits on that bucket. Johnson's got four points in the quarter. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the pay. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Outside Griffin. Rivers kicks to Bass. Kicks it out to Crawford. Trills the three-pointer. Crawford's got his second bucket of the night. Crawford has been a solid outside shooter throughout his lengthy career. Got to at least get an arm up as he's going up. There's the pick. Neto kicks to Ingles. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Now back. Launches a three. Crawford, no luck. He just looks uncomfortable offensively, really over the course of the whole game, and is killing his team. Here's Johnson. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, That's so he will go to the line. A three-point play chance here. Rudy Gobert, he's checked in for with it. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Los Angeles. Johnson comes in for Blake Griffin. The Jazz shooting their third free throw shot of the game. And so Doc Rivers has had enough. Timeout. Clippers trail by 11. Jordan with a screen on Burks. Johnson wide open. He fires. Drains it from beyond the arc. Johnson's got five points so far. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Astonetto. Gobert the screen. Neto kicks to Burks. Nice D from Crawford. And if the shot's not there, you've got to understand that move the basketball. <laughs> Those types of shots are low quality. You're not going to win too many friends on that one. Look, he's doing everything he can to get out of this funk. Just been a rough quarter shooting the basketball. Johnson kicks to Rivers. 
Jordan the screen. Rivers dishes to Crawford. Crawford with another miss. Obviously, this has been a tough quarter for him, but he's still trying to keep a positive mindset. Ingles passes to Gobert. Nice ball movement by Utah. Ingles kicks to Neto. Another miss by Utah. Clippers trail by eight. Crawford dishes to Rivers. Mbaumute up top. Defended by Gobert. Crawford, no one around him. Hits the three-point bomb. Eight points for him. Their third three-pointer in a row. Here's Neto. He has seven. Johnson, a wide-open look. No good from outside. And even without that three-ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Rivers can't get it to go. A shot he knows he needs to make when the defense sags off him. Still a little inconsistent from out there. Ingles passes to Neto. To the paint. Gobert the screen. And now here's Rivers, the fast break opportunity. Crawford outside. Shoots off the screen. A tad short, but it's good off the front iron. Crawford's gotten 10 points in the game. He is just getting hotter as the game goes along, building on a strong start. He's absolutely crushing it here in the second quarter. Gobert, the screen. Ingles kicks to Burks. Gobert dishes to Burks. Just five to shoot. They can't stop the run with that one. Can't get anything to drop. I mean, the way he's going, it's probably not something he should try and shoot his way out of. He needs to regroup, catch his breath, and take some high-quality shots. Now, here's Mbaumute. They get the rebound. Johnson. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. Johnson's got five points now in the quarter. Neto kicks to Johnson. And a missed late. I like the aggressiveness, but against that type of defensive pressure, he's out of his element. Johnson against Rivers. There's Crawford with the three. Offensive rebound. Can't hit that one. Utah has gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. To the inside. Ball's not loose. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. A chance here now for a three-point play. And you got to like how they're working the ball inside this quarter. They were struggling to do that earlier. Now they're showing the focus to take the ball inside. So Utah going with an almost entirely new group here. Derek Favors checked in for Johnson. Hayward comes in for Joe Ingles. Rodney Hood's checked in for Alec Burks. And George Hills subbed in for Raul Neto. J.J. Reddick's checked in for Los Angeles. Paul comes in for Rivers. Now here's Johnson. He's got seven. Paul outside. Beyond the arc. A rebound by the Jams. Gobert's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Hood, the pass to Hill. And Chris Paul picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Outside Hill. Hayward kicks to Favors. The Jazz with another miss. And surprisingly couldn't connect. That's a high percentage a look as he's going to get. And here is Paul. It's Reddick on the wing. From downtown. Again the miss by Paul. I am wondering what can he do to get it cranked up. Nothing from long range this quarter after hitting one in the first. Hood dishes to Hill. Gobert the screen. Hill passes to Favors. Paul with the steal. On the wing, Johnson. Fended by Hayward. It's stolen by Gobert. Shot from the wing. Gobert 
controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And the Jazz lead by six. Gobert using that seven foot one frame well on the glass, utilizing his size. Paul with the ball. Kicks it to Emba Amute. Shot clock at five. It's up a three. Favors with the rebound. Not good shot selection. Long range and a defender all up in your jersey. If you're the defender, you're like, yes, take that shot. I'll play the percentages. Now here's Hood. Eight points for him. It's back to Hill. The rebound by Johnson. Clippers trail by six. And the wide open shot from Reddick. And the three ball is good. Reddick's got seven. Reddick really pulls up fast when the defense steps off him. This is a shot he's hit throughout his career. Gobert, the screen. Outside favors. Three-pointer, Hayward. Again, the miss by Hayward. Well, uh, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. Dishes it to Reddick. It's a nice ball movement by the Clippers. And the whistle blows as the basket counts in a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. Yeah, exceptional play there to take the bump and still get it to fall. Jeff Withy, he's checked in for Utah. And the Clippers with a change here, too. Pass is checked in. For Los Angeles, they have gone two for two in the game at the line. And that one misses. Utah has gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Hood kicks to Hill. Outside favors. Gets back to Hill. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. It's going to be on DeAndre Jordan. George Hill, you know he's one of the more versatile guards we have in the game. He can defend ones or twos. One of those players who can fit in on any team in the league. That one is off. Blake Griffin, he's checked in for Jordan. And he sinks the second. The Clippers trail. Paul kicks to Reddick. Back to Paul. And it's all evened up. Paul's got five points so far. When Chris Paul takes it to the cup, he is always expecting some physical contact. He is used to nailing shots despite whatever comes his way. Now here is Hill. There's a screen. He dishes it to Withy. Just five on the clock. 14 feet away, and that one drops for him. And it's nine points for Gordon Hayward. It's impossible to stop him. You can only hope to contain him. Now here's Paul. He's got five. Outside, Reddick. Back to Paul. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Paul's got his third basket of the night. Now Hill, Hayward outside. Outside Hill. Hayward against Zemba Amuta. Favors dishes to Withy. Hayward on the wing. Shoots. And it's Hayward again missing. He's usually money for mid-range, but the defender got up in his shirt, took him out of rhythm. Upside, Griffin. He kicks to Emba Amuta. And unable there to get the go-ahead bucket. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Inside. Withy gets the bucket. Withy's got his first basket. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. 
Here's Paul. Seven points in the game. He feeds it to Griffin. Again, the Clippers. That mid-range jump shot is getting better and better for Blake. Tie game in Utah. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. With Coach Quinn Snyder, Quinn, what has to happen in the second half? Well, we got to keep getting stops and really just make plays. Make plays on the offensive end and, and be solid defensively. No, no magic. It's a pretty simple game, right, Coach? Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. This arena is packed, and the energy in the building, obvious. I'm Ernie Johnson, joined by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Well, for the Jazz, maybe they haven't been as superior in this game as they've been in the previous three, but they're still in position to advance with a four games to none sweep and get a few extra days off before the next round. And Shaq, what did you think about what we saw from Utah? Well, they were very inconsistent from behind the arc. For the first half they shot, let me check my stats, uh, in the low 30s, they won't get it done. Good news is they're still in it. I'd like to see them push the ball up court faster and try to get some open looks. Kenny, what's your take on the Clippers? I was surprised at how comfortable they seemed here on the road. The hostile crowd, <laughs> that didn't bother them at all. And I want to see if they can keep that up in the second half. And uh, that about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. Yeah. Uh, I think Kevin Harlan should call the second half. How about you? I agree. Yeah. Just like he did the first half. The streets and buildings of Salt Lake City lit up gorgeously as we welcome you back to the action here in Utah. Welcome back as we get set to continue our coverage of this round one playoff matchup. Jamal Crawford really making a difference here. Played like a man on fire in that first half. I've, I gotta say, his performance has come out of the blue and at the most opportune time for his team. You know what, he just looks motivated out there. He's a competitor and he knows how crucial this game is. Clippers shooting 38% from the field, a pretty weak showing for them. Getting underway in the second half, here's the five for Jock Rivers. The Dunkers, Griffin and Jordan are the bigs. Veteran backcourt with CP3 and Reddick at the one and the two. And it's Johnson in at the three spot. Chris Paul is one of those players I love because he competes, has a high basketball IQ, and he can knock down big shots. The Clippers shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. Both good from the line that time. Utah is shooting around 40% from the floor here. And here's Hood up top favors. Gobert the screen for three. Hill. And that's collected by DeAndre Jordan. Jordan's got 14. Yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Wow. Now here's Johnson. 
outside, Jordan. Griffin kicks to Paul. Five on the clock to the inside. Reddick passes to Jordan. Here's Griffin. Doesn't go for him. And Utah the other way now. Hayward on the wing. Let's it go with a three. The Clippers grab the miss. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Hayward against Johnson. Lots of room. But they recover it. Griffin dishes to Johnson. Paul outside. They set the pick. Here's Griffin, and out of bounds as the Jazz gain possession. Well, folks, tonight a great rebounding game we're watching in progress. And now, you know, with that in mind, let's take a look at the all-time record for rebounds in a single game. How about Wilt Chamberlain with 55 rebounds back on November 24th, 1960? And guys, that's one of those records that always seemed to me impossible to break. I mean, in the modern era, nobody's even sniffed that 55 rebound mark. I mean, heck, a lot of teams don't get 55 rebounds in a game, and Wilt's owned it since 1960. No hesitation from Chris Paul getting the basketball to the open man quickly. Hill passes to Hayward. It's back to Hill, trying to get back on track. Some solid D from Paul. Ugh, ugly start. Second half, they've missed their first four. They've got to get on track. To the middle, and stolen by Favors. Now here's Hill, the fast break opportunity. Outside Favors. Hayward kicks to Favors. And the foul called on Blake Griffin. That's his third foul of the game. A different look for Utah. Johnson, he's checked in for Favors. And it's Burks in for Hood. And the Clippers making a change here as well. Jamal Crawford, he's checked in for J.J. Reddick. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. And slam dunk by Gobert. Nice dime to the open man. George Hill, more of a combo guard making things happen right there. Pass to Jordan. And the wide open shot from Paul. No good on the triple. And they're one of four here to start the second half. Gobert, the screen. Hill dishes to Johnson. The feed to Hayward for the lead. Rebound by the Clippers. Jordan's got rebound number 15 here tonight. Paul kicks to Jordan. Burks with the steal. And he jams it with authority. And guys, that's a big swing right there. I mean, taking the steal and then turning it into two easy points on the dunk. No telling how important that sequence could turn out to be. No doubt that could be a gigantic swing in momentum given how that sequence developed. Crawford's shot is good. The quickness of Jamal Crawford really taking it to the rim with determination. For Utah, they've gone two or seven from the field in the third. That leaves room for improvement, sir. Now here's Hayward. Nine points in the game so far. And that's rough. He did have three in the first half, but hasn't had one since. Johnson kicks to Griffin. It's good with the assist that time from Johnson. Griffin's got the lead up to four now for Los Angeles. Gobert, the screen. Hill with it. Gobert, the pass to Hayward. No good off the front iron. Still trying to shoot his way out of this funk. But if it doesn't come within the floor of the offense, the whole team suffers. Paul dishes to Griffin. He can't get that one to fall. Johnson with some nice D. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Hill kicks to Johnson. It's back to Hill. Uses the glass to finish the layup. George Hill saw the opportunity, got right to the cup. Clippers have gone 3-7 on field goal attempts here in the second half. 
Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Now, here is Hill. Six on the shot clock. Here's the triple. Again, missing Hill. Honestly, I don't know how they cut into that lead with him missing so many shots. Took the opportunity when he saw it. And it's a seven-point Clipper lead. In this second half, it's been a disappointing turn of events for them defensively. The focus, the intensity, just not there. Now, here is Hill on its way from Hayward for two. And it's Griffin with the rebound. Griffin's got six rebounds in the game. Awfully hard to get back into the game when one of your key shooters is this ice cold and has been all quarter. Paul against Hill. A three ball. Johnson from outside. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got five assists in the game. And Johnson is known to shoot threes from time to time. Timeout. He can Timeout. make that one. Utah Started. calls timeout for the Jams with his jack in for Gobert. Joe Ingles comes in for Gordon Hayward. And Raul Neto is subbed in for Hill. The Clippers also making some changes. Brandon Bass is checked in for Griffin. And it's Rivers in for Chris Paul. Crawford against Burks. There's the pass to Neto. And they get it. Another shot. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time. So he'll shoot two right here. Yeah, good job to take it right at the deep. The Jazz have made four free throws from the line and missed two. He's off on the first. And he sinks the second. Clippers leading by nine. Crawford passes to Rivers. Jordan kicks to Crawford. Jordan the screen. Shoots off the screen. A putback. Feeds to Rivers. And Johnson now top of the key. Jordan the screen. Johnson kicks to Crawford. Inside, short, and the bucket counts, and he's on his way to the free throw line. Try to make it a three-point play. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. And Bahamute's checked in for the Clippers. Los Angeles shooting the sixth attempt at the free throw line tonight. Free throw good, Jordan. DeAndre Jordan is just a physical specimen, an incredible defender and shot blocker, as well as a fearless and intimidating dunker. Here's Neto, eight points for him. Burks' shot is good. Clippers leading by nine. Rob. Here's Neto, and two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. Yeah, the defender all over him. The Jazz have gone five of eight from the charity stripe here tonight. And he can't get the first one.
and he sinks the second. Here's Rivers. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Crawford outside. Bass with the screen. Jordan dishes to Rivers. The Clippers rebound. Jordan kicks to Rivers. Now here's Crawford. 12 points for him. Johnson, the pass to Neto. The dish now to Withy. Back to Neto. The Jazz working the ball around now. And they pick up two. Johnson's got 11 points. Clippers leading by six. Pass to Bass. Rebound, Utah. Here's Ingles. Johnson the screen. Pass to Neto. Out to the right wing. Johnson outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Fires for three. Jordan with the rebound. And, and, and really credit their advantage on the backboard. That's where the lead has been built, and that's why they are in control. Jazz trail by six. Here's Ingles. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Count that one. And, and you gotta love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grinded-out game. They set the pick. Rivers dishes to Emba Amute. It's Crawford on the wing. Burks covering. Crawford outside. Here is Emba Amute. Hits it from three point range. Emba Amute has got his third basket of the night right there. Three point shooting since the half timeout, timeout. has been about as good as you could ask for. Utah calls timeout. Derek Favors checked in for Utah. Hood comes in for Raul Neto. J.J. Reddick's checked in for the Clippers. Here's Withy, guarded by Jordan. Yes, that goes in. Ingles has got his first bucket in this one. Clippers leading by five. Rivers kicks to Bass to the middle. And Reddick the bucket on the assist by Bass. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. Sticking to the high percentage shots. Playing smart with the lead. Now here's Burks. Five points in the game. Favors against Bass. It's rebounded by Bass. Bass has got five rebounds tonight. And they hold a huge advantage on the backdoor. Here's Rivers. No good on the three. And what a struggle it has been yet to convert a single shot from the field. They set the pick. Hood, the pass to Withy. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. This is his first free throw of the game. He's off on the first. The Jazz making a switch here. Hill's checked in. Good on the second free throw. 
Los Angeles leading by six. 55 seconds left here in the third quarter. Rivers sets the pick for Crawford. Down low. Got a piece of it. Lock at six. Inside. Jordan kicks to Bass. The three. He doesn't hit that one. They tee that time from Hood. And with the time left, they still can go two for one. In this situation, I think it's a must. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Bass. And Utah has possession. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. Now Rivers. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Bass with the screen. Thread it. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. And the Clippers lead by eight. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Clippers ahead. They lead by eight. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling right here on 2K Sports. And now we take a look back to Doc Rivers talking to his team from his huddle. Hey guys, come on. Let's close this court. Let's close it. Got to pick up our pace. Got to pick up our pace right here. And Doc Rivers looking for a faster tempo, as you heard, wanting to make a big push here. I think he realizes when his team is attacking at both ends, that's when they tend to go on runs. And we welcome you back to our coverage of round one in the NBA playoffs. Hayward and Favors holding down those forward spots. Hill pairs up with Hood in the backcourt, and it's Gobert in at the five spot. That's the five on the floor for the Jams. And Chris Paul is known for his lockdown D. If you aren't careful with the ball, he will swipe it clean. Outside Hill. Favors with a screen on Paul. Outside Hood. Here's the three. The Clippers grab the miss. Pass has got seven rebounds in the game. It's Ruddick on the wing. Goodbye, Hood. Ball against Hill. Paul dishes to Griffin. And Ruddick the bucket on the assist by Griffin. Ruddick's got the lead up to 12 now for the Clippers. Hood kicks to Favors. Dishes to Hayward. Lock at six. Outside Hill. Kept alive. Here's Favors. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. It's going to be on Brandon Bass. Have to be careful when Favors shows you his shooting form. He is very effective at drawing contact with his pump fake. That free throw missing. Los Angeles making a switch here. Jordan's checked in. He hits the second from the line. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Paul kicks to Griffin. Here's Reddick. Shot's good. Griffin making the play. Reddick's got four this quarter. 
And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. And here is Hill. Outside Hood favors with the screen. On its way from Hayward for two. The Jazz with another miss. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. It's stolen by Hill. Teardrop shot. It's good. Okay, George Hill. Elusive off the bounce. Makes it look so easy. Los Angeles leading by 11. Paul passes to Reddick. Jordan kicks to Paul. Lobs it up for Jordan. And DeAndre Jordan throws it down. And that is why DeAndre is such a high percentage shooter. Wow. Utah time calls out, time timeout. Out. Start And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, during the last break, I heard Quinn Snyder talking with his team. He's not satisfied with their effort level. He said, we're not hustling out there, guys. We are not going to win that way. I promise you. We've got to get after it. We'll see how his team responds. Get over, get over. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Gobert, the screen. Hood dishes to Gobert, and stolen by Jordan. Outside, Reddick knocked away. And it's blocked by Jordan. Can't be careless with DeAndre is around. He slaps shots back with some real authority. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. Hayward passes to Hood. Kicks it to Hill. Back to Gobert. Here's Hayward. And Hayward with the stuff. The deceptive athleticism of Hayward catches defenders off guard. He can certainly throw it down. Paul with the ball. Picked by Griffin. Five to shoot. Left side, Jordan. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. And that's now seven points for Jordan. Hill kicks to Favors. Favors sets the pick for Hood. Gobert, the screen. Hayward, that one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. The vision from George Hill, very careful with the ball. He makes the easy play. Paul kicks to Griffin. He dishes it to Johnson. Pass to Paul. Jordan the screen. Paul with the ball. He's picked up by Hill. But they'll get another chance. Wow, another opportunity. Just everything going their way. Pretty much the story of this game. Gobert, the screen. Outside favors. Hood for three. And there's the call on Rudy Gobert. That'll be his second foul of the game. The quick trigger. Hood piercing the defense with the effective catch and shoot Jay. Clippers leading by eight. Griffin down low. Working on favors. Great D that time from Favors. Hill kicks to Favors. Down low. And stolen by Jordan. Outside, Reddick. He feeds it to Paul. Johnson sets the screen for Paul. Fires the three. They get it back. Here's Jordan. And they're going to count the bucket good, and send good. him to the line. It could be a three-point play. That? Really starting to attack on the interior here, showing a much more physical presence here in the second half. Now 
On the free throw, no good. Jazz trail by 10. Now here's Hayward. Good D by Johnson. He kicks the ball. Pick by Griffin. Paul against Hill. Again, the miss by Paul. For Utah, they've gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth or of nine. Hayward outside. Gobert with a screen on Johnson. Hill has the open look. Here's Gobert, and Jordan sends it back. And they're able to recover. Tries yet again. Jordan with the rebound. Clippers leading by 10. Reddick dishes the ball. And there's the feed to Jordan. Doesn't go that time. The Jazz go the other way with it. Here's Hood. And the pass to Hill. Feeds it to Favors. The dish to Hayward. Favors sets the pick for Hayward. Passes it to Hill. And that's collected by DeAndre Jordan. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Los Angeles with another miss. Jazz trail by 10. Hood kicks to Hill. Pass to Gobert. Nice ball movement by Utah. Gobert, the screen. A shot by Hayward, wide open. Good on the shot, and that shaved the lead to single digits. Hayward's got six in the quarter. Gordon Hayward's jumper is as consistent as they come. Just perfect shooting form on every shot. Jordan kicks to Paul. Griffin a screen on Hill. Paul with the three. The rebound by the Jams. Gobert's got 15 rebounds here tonight. Hayward passes to Hood. The basket good off the assist from Hayward. 13 points for Rodney Hood. And Hood is not scared to look for his shot inside. Very crafty, using his length well. And Reddick kicks to Paul. Shoots from 12. Paul missing again. And he's clearly just disappeared here this quarter, not making any contributions here with his offense. You know, offense is about rhythm. He has lacked rhythm in this entire quarter. Now here's Hayward. Back to favor. Griffin with the steal. And now here's Johnson, the fast break chance. And out of bounds as Utah gains possession. And really just a lack of awareness on his part. Just no idea he was right near the line. Jamal Crawford, he's checked in for J.J. Reddick. Jazz trail by six. Now Hill, outside favors. Dishes it to Hayward. To the inside, Crawford with the steal. Oh, and here we go. Crawford all alone. Crawford is very tricky. So good at drawing contact and getting chances at the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He's off on the first. Jamal Crawford, the former Michigan Wolverine, continues to thrive as a scorer. And the second free throw, good. Jazz trail by seven. And here is Hill. Gobert, the screen. Hill with it. 
Six to shoot. Johnson against Hayward. Not enough on that one as it misses. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. The shot's good from Paul. He is starting to build up a little confidence. Hit just one three in the entire first half, but he has hit two more since then. Utah has gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. Favors with the screen. And it's Hayward again missing. Not a good pick there. If I'm shooting the ball and I'm looking at him, I'm asking where is the effort? You've got to do a better job of screening. No surprise Crawford is lighting up the floor. This is a guy that has multiple 50-point games to his name. Here is Hayward. Following the score by Jamal Crawford. Hayward goes in, and he sinks the shot coming off the strong pick. Hayward's got eight points here in this quarter. A lot of space right there to get that shot off. On a defensive end, you have to fight through screen. That is a commitment. Now here's Griffin. Takes the 13-footer. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. And the Clippers lead by 12. I love that shot. He can make that consistently. Keep going to him. Keep feeding Blake Griffin. Favors with the screen. Hayward dishes to Hill. The basket good off the assist from Hayward. Hayward's got three assists tonight. Tough screen set there, and the defense was not prepared for it. Ball against Hill. Upside, Griffin. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. When you think of low post scores, you got to put Griffin down there. Yes, he likes to face up, but with his back to the basket, he's pretty good as well, drawing fouls. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreaker. off as well so he misses both Blake Griffin the former Oklahoma Sooner has done a nice job in this league we understood his athleticism coming out of college but he's added so much to his game now Griffin following the three-point attempt by Rodney Hood Jordan with the bucket that's a solid pass right inside where his teammate wants it 112 left in the fourth quarter Gobert the screen Hayward's got space. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. And entering the final countdown, game four effectively decided here, guys. This is just a tremendous accomplishment for the Clippers. Their inside game was what secured them the win tonight. They had their way in the paint. And those are all high percentage shots. But the defense couldn't stop them from getting down low. And a great team effort. But still, what an individual performance for Jordan. He took up a lot of space under the boards tonight, guys. He had it in his mind that every missed shot was going to be his. And he went out there and got those rebounds. A strong effort on the glass. Just too much of a deficit to overcome. No question. Nothing short of a miracle could save him now. In this second half, the defense have been baiting him to shoot the three. And we're seeing why. Paul outside. So the Clippers winning this one easily. Backs against the wall, Greg, but they showed us tonight they are not done yet. You can just never count this group out. I mean, unlikely to see a full comeback, but we've seen it before. We have. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Jamal, how did you guys get this win tonight? We have good players. We have a good coach. I mean, he put us in good positions to succeed. Our players play for each other. We don't care about who scores. And we're a real team. 
Yeah, there was a lot of flow out there tonight. Congrats again. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that about wraps it up, folks. We hope you've enjoyed our broadcast of the NBA Western Conference quarterfinals. For Greg Anthony, David Aldridge, Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And time now to head over to Ernie Johnson for the 2K postgame show. The 2K Sports postgame show. Welcome back, everybody. Ernie Johnson, along with Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, as we present our Jordan player of the game, DeAndre Jordan. He had a double-double in this one, points and rebounds. Showed great instincts, along with a very aggressive approach toward pushing the action. That was some of the most passionate rebounding work I've ever seen. Guys aren't supposed to be capable of getting that many rebounds in a single game. He was just an animal on the boards. It was something special to behold. Clutch, 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 Ernie. In a must-win game like this when you're on the road, you gotta have a guy that can come through or you do not have a chance. He was the answer for them when it counted. Big time game. And that will wrap up tonight's round one coverage of the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. For the Jet and Shaq, EJ, we'll see you again as the NBA playoffs continue.